Hi, it's Ms. Ashley, and today I'm going to show you more about paint. I call this Paint Lesson Part 2. Today we're all going to attempt to draw a flower together. Now, of course, you can make it kind of a boyish flower if you want to, or the girls might glam it up for a girl flower. I recommend something like a sunflower, or here you can see some pictures of some other flowers that have been done. We could draw something like that. First, you need to go to paint. So let me go down here to the start up button and I'm looking through the list to find paint. We're going to use the paint brush today. You can use any of these brush styles that you want. I'm going to use the first one. I'm going to use a very thick brush and I'll get a green, green color. First, you want to draw the stem. Next, you want to draw the leaves. Again, we're just using the brush tool. Now, your flower could have more than two leaves. That doesn't look too good. If you're unhappy with it, there is an undo feature up top. It is right here. Undo and you could redraw your leaf. I'll go ahead, I like even numbers and even sides. And now I use paint bucket to fill them in. Okay, now I need to have roots to my tree and most roots are in the ground and typically we think that they're brown or dark in color somehow. The roots can be kind of skinny and again, I'll use the paintbrush, but I might be tempted to use a pencil. I don't know how the roots will go. And you don't need many roots, just enough to show that you have some roots. Now, of course, you need the flower itself, so I'm going to make mine kind of pretty. And what I might do is use one of the shape tools. I'll hold down like this. And instead of brown, since I made a little boo-boo, I'm going to do this. I'm going to turn it to pink. And I'm going to choose one of these star shapes. I'm going to put it in there like this. I might be able to move it a little bit once I get it going. And now I'll do paint bucket and dump pink into it. Now we all know that the center of a flower is usually a different color because that's where the pollen is. So I'm going to use another round shape. Hold down and pull and again fill it in. Now of course some people might have a sunflower that has seeds. I don't have that right now but I've done my flower and I'm going to go ahead and use paint bucket to give it a background color. And fill this part in. Now I need to identify the parts of a flower. Let's look back at this picture for a moment. We need to identify the stem, flower, leaf, and root. We can do this. It's fairly easy. Click on the letter A. Draw a box like this. Type the word stem. <gasps> it didn't show up because I'm still typing in blue. I should change it to black. Now I'm going to do the leaves. So I'm going to click on the letter A. It's still there. And I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to type in leaves. Okay, and then here's the flower. This is easy enough, right? And you're so good with paint now, by the way. And then last but not least, you'll have roots. Oh, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I could use a little touch up in the root department. I'm gonna go back home to my tools, get my paint bucket, that same baby blue background color, and I'm gonna go right in there. There's my root. Now, if you want to get real snazzy, you can add your name up here. And we can talk about how you can make this big. So usually you're up, you're up top and you can see in text tools where you're in text. You can change this. There's some really nice fonts. You might find something like Jokerman, something like that. And you can adjust the size of your name. And this is, oops, again, I'm typing in blue put it in black or something that will show up. And there is my flower with all the parts. Now of course we'll be saving this 
and in order to do that that is in my next video thanks for watching and I hope you had fun today um, you're experts with paint now bye